Hi, welcome to How to Repair. Is your washing machine overheating on a wash cycle? Or are you finding the clothes coming out of the drum warm at the end of the cycle? This could be an error. Error code 3 is to do with the heating system being activated all the time. This error code does not show up on the display as normal. It can only be found in the diagnostic mode, which is another video you need to watch. If your machine is overheating, then you need to follow these steps in the video to understand what the fault is and how to rectify it. OK, once the machine's disconnected from the electricity supply, we need to remove the back cover and the lid to do these tests properly. These are torque screws. On the earlier models, they would be Phillips screws. Error code 3 is actually not displayed in the customer mode. It is only available in the diagnostic mode, and I've put a link down to the video on that below. Also, you need to be aware that this error is to do with the relay on the circuit board, which may either be jammed or the heating element is on all the time. Now, we need to do some tests on this, and the first thing you need to do is do a continuity test on the KN5 socket. And you can see that I'm doing a test here on the socket to make sure that the relay is not in the activation mode. Then you will need to understand that error code 1 and 2 will also need to be carried out to test the element in the NTC sensor. But if you follow the step-by-step -step procedure that I've put on the screen here, you will be able to work out whether the relay is jammed or you need to replace the circuit board. I've done some detailed pictures for you here to show you the KN5 socket uh, and also the relay. Now, when we know that the heating element is drawing 9 amps and the manufacturer has put in a 10 amp relay that you can see here, in my opinion, relays on all manufactured washing machines, cookers and tumble dryers are slightly underrated. I don't know if this is built in obsolescence, but I'm seeing more and more relay faults appear over the period of time. Now, I have done some detailed videos on relays on how to replace them and how to test them. So if you follow the links in the description, this will help you. Another test that you can do if the machine is on a rinse cycle and you do a test across the live and neutral on the heating element. If you have 240 volts present at the heating element, this means that the element is active. Therefore, this would point you in the direction of either a faulty relay or possibly having to replace the circuit board. Now, if the machine is heating and there is no water in the machine, then you may have a problem with the pressure switch. There is another video to actually help you with this, and you will find that either in the description below, or if you go to the main video, which shows you all the error codes, there will be a link in there, which will take you to the pressure switch test. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it rectified the problem with your washing machine. Remember, at the website, we have hundreds of tutorials to assist you in all types of repairs. And there are links in the description on this video to all the relevant videos that I spoke about while making this video. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Remember to shop with How to Repair as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. And if we really helped, you can always click on the Bipolar Beer page. Thanks again for watching.